Researchers have discovered that llamas produce a type of antibody that could be vital in fighting the coronavirus infection in humans. Those llama antibodies, uh, their binding entity is much smaller and much more stable. The eureka moment at this tiny Belgian lab came January 20th. They realised research with llamas a couple of years ago could catapult them to a cure fast and scaled up immediately from 2 to 20 staff. So we've worked um, really, really long hours, um, especially in February and March um, when we were um, racing to get the antibody. Now they're racing to test their antibodies on mice and hamsters. Everything here is happening at much faster speed than normal, but it still takes time. That white flask there contains billions of antibodies that can be used in about a hundred animal tests. But even that can take up to 10 days to produce. Unusually for an academic lab this small, they're working parallel tracks, refining the antibodies as they go, planning to pick the best and scale up for humans as soon as they can. We have to do multiple other studies like toxicity, repeat some animal experiments, and then hopefully by the end of the year, everything should be in place to do the first clinical test. The biggest beneficiaries could be the elderly because generally their immune systems are weaker the lab's antibodies could aid the effectiveness of vaccines already being tested. So it could be that a vaccine might protect uh, healthy adults, but might be less useful in elderly. Uh, and in this way, just by providing the antibody itself directly, uh, you might protect elderly as well. But many people are impatient. At Alama Farm in the UK, owner Bobby Shuck is already getting calls about the healing possibilities of llamas. We have had rather silly people, in my opinion, who phoned up and asked, can they come and take blood from the llama to drink it? But um, no, we're not going to let people drink their blood. And if they did, it wouldn't help. That's not how antibodies work. What worries the researchers in Belgium is they may be running out of time as lockdowns begin to ease. If you look at the daily case numbers globally, um, it's just flat. Um, it's just we have about 100,000 cases every day. Um, Across the world. For the last month, yeah. It's pretty clear that as soon as we relax things with international travel, it's going to come back.